Frenzen lost her control, got to Kamara. Her shot was blocked by Grip. Up the floor for Courtney Walsh by herself, and the Skyhawks take a 4-2 lead. A good shot, but both defenses really are making that very difficult. Now they loop it down inside, off the glass, score the basket for Taylor Warnham, and fouled on the nice pass from Kelsey Shaw. Courtney Walsh drops it down inside for Reuter, back inside, and there's two for Jennifer Warden. Carter around the screen from Grip, back down inside, Grip, beautiful look, and there's two. Great pass from Gabrielle Reuter. Has some room, and too strong in the rebound of Grip. Quickly up the floor for Courtney Walsh. Three ball on the way for Courtney Walsh. Gives her seven points. And now Martin again. Back down inside Reuter. Oh, great play. Beautiful pass from Taylor Warnham. Kelly Martin the other way. Kicks it to the corner for Shaw. Drops it back down inside. Beautiful look. And there's two for Taylor Warnham. And she's got six points. Friends and faces up. And can't get it. Another rebound for Grip. Kelly Martin the other way. Looping pass inside. Great run of the floor by Samantha Highslip. Courtney Walsh for Elizabeth Grip. And Kelsey Shaw. Now Martin, long three ball. Kelly Martin's first three. Courtney Walsh, back comes Lorenzen. Final 25 seconds. Lorenzen on the go. Steps through, gives it back. Three ball on the way is thrown in by Sarah Deo. For a second three, 10 seconds. Stinson on the drive, has to pull up. Back outside, Kamara, spinning through to the corner. Shelp can't get it. And the clock runs out, and the Skyhawks somehow hang on with a 49-48 win. Elizabeth, congratulations. Thank you. First of all, congratulations. You put yourself in the record books tonight. Thank you very much. There's been much. some awfully good players who have come through here, and you now have the record. I don't know how many blocks you had today. You had a lot of them. <laughs> Thank you. You yeah. were playing just great defense. Tell us about that final 13 seconds. What is Coach Brown telling you folks to go out on the floor without timeouts and having to defend? Uh, just to get that stop. I mean, it's what we practice every day. We practice those end of game situations, and all we got to do is buckle down, be in our healthy, and just have each other's back. Not the best offensive night for your team. Did it have anything to do with just all the emotion from Wednesday with that win over Bentley? Um, I think it's just up and down. I mean, I know right after Bentley, we were just hungry for the next win. I think that's just been our attitude all season. So I think we're not going to shoot well every single game, and I think we know that, and that's why we got to focus on those stops, just like at the end of game. We're going to have close games any time's a good league. So. so Doug Monson tells me you had seven blocks today. <laughs> I would have figured somewhere in that area, and I thought seven was pretty fair. Tell me what you did in the offseason. I, I just think the way you have played this year has been just so terrific, especially defensively. You never lean into anybody. What did you work on this, this offseason and with anybody else? Uh, I think I've talked to the coaches a lot, just from the beginning, even Meg Methven. I know, like, with Jonna, all the big coaches, about being able to move my feet. That's something I used to struggle with. I used to come down on players. And just to use my length to the best of my ability because that's something I have and that's something i got to work with. So I think I've gotten a lot better at being active Welcome. with the help of them. <laughs> Congratulations. That's a great, great win. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I mean, obviously, that, that's a big win besides just, you know, giving us the W. It does mean a lot down the stretch in terms of hosting potential. Um, but unfortunately, I feel like we played that way with a with a vision of too much things going on and just not focusing on you know what what has gotten us to a good spot in terms of possession by possession. I, I just think we played so tight and and Southern New Hampshire, to their credit, they're a really tough, scrappy team and made us work. So Elizabeth Grip did a tremendous job and obviously she broke the uh, Kelsey Simons record for blocks in a season this year. Um, which is so exciting to see her. And she really did uh, affect Lorenzen's ability to score inside, which, um, you know, that, that's a really talented player and scores a lot of points. So um, I think she did a great job on her. Gabby Ruder did a great job. Sam, like, it was definitely a team effort. So that was good to see. You know, I think you saw it on Wednesday night against Bentley, the same thing. And it's so nice to see how far she's come. You know, I think... You know, her sophomore and junior years, defensively, she was just a little tentative and, and not patient with, you know, her ability to block shots. But, um, 
you know, she really has a great understanding this year of how to time it and get into the right spot to, to block a shot and not pick up a foul. So that, that's been a huge help. I mean, she's just a presence inside. And you can tell when kids are going at her that they're thinking about it. So that helps a lot. We just got a little tentative. And again, I think, you know, Snoo took us out of our rhythm in terms of one, you know, we didn't get a lot of transition looks, and that usually helps us in, in our ability to score in the half court. Um, they also put that full court pressure on us, and we, we didn't respond well in the first half. In the second half, I think we, we did a better job. Um, but it did. It slowed us down. It got us on our heels. And, you know, when we were getting into the front court, we just weren't very smooth and going to side to side. So it, they did a good job in taking us out of it. I think this team, again, they're mature in understanding how, you know, if we are tentative, we're, if we're not hitting our shots, you know, you got to get defensive stops. And I think they did a really good job there in terms of, you know, limiting touches and, and really contesting shots pretty well. Um, yeah, and, and kids made big plays. You know, Kelly hit a big three down the stretch, and, and the good thing is there's a lot of kids on that floor that are confident enough to, to hit that shot. So I like how this team has prepared in terms of us being on the road. You know, they again, I think it's just a different maturity and understanding that keep it consistent. And, you know, I think right now we just got to get some people rested and, and ready to go to bring out a, a different kind of intensity and urgency to Tuesday night. But... Um, you know, certainly St. Mike's is always challenging up there, but we'll figure it out. It was amazing. The, the turnout we have here is is probably the best in my time. You know, they're, they're alum from all generations, and, um, you know, some of the younger uh, alum brought their children, so it was really, it's a, it's a pretty special day, and our, our players understand that, you know, this is a great day, and they really get a chance early to to mingle and, and say hi to some of the alum, but we can't thank them enough for, for their support today and coming in.